Okay, I'm, I did a humanities PhD at the University of Texas in 1979. I'm a, I have been a jazz pianist since high school. I have produced three CDs. Vanity Press, sorry. <laughs> I am a proponent of a less frenetic style of jazz. Not that stuff that they close the door on, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> the class, should you enroll? It's going to be an enjoyment class over technical display. You don't have to be a musician. You don't have to be, have to be uh, well versed in theory. Do you love melodies? This, the course is essentially about song and memory. Americans used to stand around the piano after dinner and sing these songs. That's the sad thing about these songs today. People are starting to forget them. So if you're a nostalgic person, you want to know why your favorite song deserves further deference, my class will analyze that. If you're curious about the lives and contributions of individual songwriters, come to my class. A poetic longing? Yeah, you should take both my class and Higby's. <laughs> my, my class is, is uh, Wednesdays at 1.40. Okay, so it's, we're going to analyze lyrics and melodies from the 20s, 30s, and 40s. And I've consider a few songs into the 50s. We're going right up to that threshold where electronic music, Elvis Presley was on the TV every Sunday. He, and he was playing a, an acoustic guitar, if you recall, and had an acoustic bass. Right up to the, into the mid 50s we'll go. Um, my class will involve the writing of a new lyric. We'll listen to a few CDs. You're going to be introduced or reintroduced to an unforgettable era, a period of memorable singing, singable melodies sparked by creative breakthroughs. The Gershwin was the leader, the first jazz song, 1914. They didn't believe, I will define jazz song in the course. That's the carrot on the stick. You're going to find out what a jazz song is. It's not frenetic jazz. They didn't believe me. It's a beautiful song, but it's, it's uh, Jerome Kern's breakthrough. These are my sources. Uh, the, the course involves no text, except these, I'm, I'm taking my lecture notes from these three sources. The great um, book about the melodies and harmony by Alec Wilder. The book about the personalities and the melodies, Wilfred Sheed, and uh, William Sinzer's Easy to Remember. And my rich personal library of arrangements and lead sheets. I will have handouts in the class of pertinent lead sheets. We will lecture to some degree from those sources. There won't be a lot of egotistical rantings of a jazz pianist. <laughs> we will sing in the course. Don't come thinking you can just sit in the back row and, and uh, be passive. <coughs> The active participants will help me write a lyric for a standard that I have written. I've written a, uh, people say, well, they don't write these songs anymore. These are the songs your mother used to play. Well, I've written a standard for this, precisely for this course. And one group, the active group in the course will help me write the lyric for this standard. We'll have evenings field trips, optional, to hear select songs in a live romantic setting. This is where I, ha I have a gig, weekends at Log Haven. If you want to donate the cost of a dinner to Osher, <laughs> Log Haven's not the place to do it. <laughs> but we will have, we'll have, I will invite, take this option, you can come up and, and we will do, uh, you don't, I don't think the owner will let you sing in the restaurant, <laughs> but I will, I will sing them. Uh, the, the, the matrix of the course is, uh, American jazz, African American jazz, European harmony, Jewish melancholy. We're going to we're going to do some preliminary work on melody, harmony, lyrics, syncopation. Syncopation kicks the stuffing out of formal music. You got to learn about syn syncopation. We're going to st study that standard popular song. We're almost out here. Uh, a little bit on blues. Passive participants. There you go. You can decide on a favorite song, listen to some good songs. The active participants will, I, I invite you to sing in the class, or if you don't, if you refuse to sing, I'll sing. 
And the last day of class, we'll perform, we'll perform the new lyric that you're writing. Okay, we'll go over, we're about over. The melodies, we're gonna study the melodies <laughs> without any symbols. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna study the lyrics. Irving Berlin's lyrics seem not so much brilliant as inevitable. And Cole Porter's lyrics alchemize lust into romance. <laughs> Cole Porter's my favorite. These are the composers we'll consider. You can see those are the, those are the heavy hitters, including uh, any ending with G uh, Jimmy Van Heusen, the great songwriter for Frank Sinatra and others. Here, here are the lyricists. Porter and Berlin are on both lists. Johnny Mercer. These, these are American treasures. Please come and enjoy the Great American Songbook with me on Wednesdays. Right? Yeah. Look in the catalog.